daredevil, tomboy, possessed of a brilliant mind, exuberant, quick-witted, fond of practical jokes, honorable, honest, courageous, straight in all things. I won the first scholarship pupil at Grangewood, meaning Grangewood is open to other elementary pupils as per as myself. Oh, Sybil Burlington, vice captain of the upper four, conceited, beautiful, only daughter of very wealthy parents. Monica Smithers, school tutti and sheep crony of Sybil Burlington. <clears throat> So, elementary school girls at Grangewood bring in their dishonesty, filth, and gutter snipe ways with them, and generally lowering the tone of the place. Well, we'll see about that. Elementary school girls are no great at Grangewood, you see. We have no idea what to expect. Not that I have been in a position to ever meet an elementary school girl before. Me and Daddy are frightfully particular about that kind of thing. Of course, in our situation, one has to be. Anybody would do anything for the money. <laughs> Honestly, Monica, it's an absolute limit. Not only do we have to share the same form room as her, but we have to share that hitherto and polluted air with her as well. Never mind that tiresome little Rex, Trixie Martin, and is one of the nicest dormies in the school. We must put a stop to that for the sake of Grangewood. For the sake of Grangewood. Ah! Who may ask, put this frog in my bed. Your bed? Yes. I, I'm afraid it was I who put the frog in your bed. I'm fearfully sorry. You see, I thought it was Trixie's bed and the frog was a present from just the sort of behaviour one expects. Typical. It's no good. Everything I do is wrong. Maybe I don't belong in Grangewood. Perhaps I'm as bad as they say I am, but I'm not, I'm not. I can't bear it any longer. I'll run away. That's what I'll do. I'll run away to Mother, Dick, Douglas, Duncan and Daniel. They love me. They believe in me. Oh, Mother, Mother, I wish you were here now. I need you so badly. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Meanwhile, several of us were having a midnight feast to celebrate today's victory. When suddenly the tide crept in, crumbing our path. believe Daisy Meredith to be a cheat, a liar, and an absolute rotter. Well, she isn't. She's one of the most pluckiest, most honourable and sporting girls you could ever meet. Last night, she rescued Monica and me from certain death. <laughs> Now. 
now we can be friends. Can we? Can we really? Yes, of course we can.